Sunday, January the 27th, and we are preparing for the very cold week ahead. So we are going to load this shed full of bedding that we chopped sometime after we square bailed up at the neighbor's field. Because, or maybe it was before, I don't remember. Because I remember it came from that field. So, peppers from this west pasture and also from the pasture behind the barn can come in here and have fresh bedding. Okay, now that we got the Rex box emptied, Dad is going, I guess, take the forks, try to shove as much in there as he can. Probably get to the other side for better lighting. There we go. He didn't even have to put the bucket on.
filled your shed. Don't touch that. Don't touch that. He's filling your shed full of bedding. So when it gets really cold, yeah, it's gonna get really cold. When it gets really cold, you can have somewhere warm to sleep. For a couple days anyway. Film Amy breathing. Hey Dad. With all that stuff flying up in the sediment. Dad, if I clean up your 20 chainsaw, if um, Uncle Kevin's going to try to practice the crap until I get my routine. I'm going to mess trying to start a saw today just for fun. I'm going to just split that one first. Uncle Kevin comes, Uncle Kevin, I have it all the time. Well. You got the stuff all pushing and spread out. And then he could start. We have some boards temporarily leaning up against this gate. I'm waiting for George to bring me my drill so I can punch little holes in here and wire the plywood to the gate. He's been gone a long time. If George never comes back, I'm going to have to stand out here for the duration of the winter and hold these boards in place as a windbreak for these little girls. So if you read the newspapers sometime down the road that Farmer Keith Fink froze to death out in the field, it's George's fault. Because right. he never came back with my drill. I hate to put that pressure on one of my children, but it is what it is. You have a few visitors. Somebody poops. Somebody poops, it'll freeze pretty quickly. Yeah. What, six above zero? Instant bowling ball. <laughs> Insta bowl. Yeah, another visitor. Hey girls, trying to make it a little bit nicer for you. During the cold, cold weather. Sorry, it's about the best I can do. Man of limited means and all. Where is that boy, George? Could have done it myself 20 times already. I can hold those, Dad. Go see. Mom went to check on him. She's not if back. She home. doesn't come back. I left to check on her. Perhaps there's a lion in the yard. Dad, I can Eating hold all the people who wander in. Dad, I, I don't can... hear any screams. Dad, I can hold these. You can go see. Well, why don't you go see? I don't want to get eaten by a lion. Oh, Dad, I'll hold these. You know maybe where the drill is. I'll hold these. I'm not afraid of a lion, though. But I'll hold these. Why are you not getting shot? Hey, Dad, walk right through. Right through. Except he grabbed the green part, which isn't electric. Hey! Hey! Did hey. you get on video when I went through? No. Oh, you should have. I walked straight through the wires. The yellow yeah. wires over there. I wasn't wa watching where I was going. I was watching Wilson, the ground running with a wire in my hand. Wilson, oh, that would have helped. Wilson. Yeah, it would have. Yeah. He'll film, he'll, he'll film it if I'm gonna go do it again. Hold these up. It's starting to hurt the side of my hand too. There go some snowmobiles. Yep, there are three, four, five, six. Hey guys! Hey, sorry for getting in your view. It's alright. It's not that. You're kind of far away anyway.
kissed me. Those six long of y'all should be. They're just being on pretty good. Are you still looking out? Oh, not, Uncle Kevin. George, George, George. You just got out of church. Okay, George. Let me tell you something. Huh? Let me tell you something about these fences. See this wire here? Yeah. That goes inside this this uh, fence post type thing. Comes down through these yellow things. So if you grab it at the perfect spot. And you grab the green part, and you go through, you don't get shocked. Yep. Okay, we're just about done here. We filled it with bedding. Got some happy animals. Happy, happy, happy. We tied plywood boards. Is Kevin gonna get here? With wires. To help with windbreaking. We did the same here for these West Heifers with the Rex box. Hopefully help with windbreaking in here. Hopefully we can get the rest of those animals over there to figure find their way in here. And they should have a cozy next week when it's negative 20 degrees outside. Let's go cut some wood. You mean split some wood? Cut. Split. We have cut. to split wood. Well, I'm gonna cut with Uncle Kevin if he comes. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.